foot seven inch setter from Bangkok, Thailand, number 13, Lutsara Tomko. Alicia Glass Childress to the serving spot for the first time. Joust there, and Tomcom able to do enough. Aim is her height, so she's not that tall, and when she's at the net, that can be a bit of a disadvantage. She's come up so strong, and she's been the main option on the outside uh, for the Mojo, and that's going to be big as the season goes on. With plays like that, the Thomas I. Lara season, they know her well at Wisconsin, an all-Big Ten selection, all-American. Tomcom has the two setters in this match. Uh, both of them just super, super high level. I mean, Glass Childress an Olympian. Uh, so, you know, the, the Vegas Thrill, they had one of their higher draft picks on a setter, but, but Hannah Pucas hasn't been able to play yet. Uh, Six and three. The Mojo, one and three. Plenty of opportunity on this homestand. They'll host the Atlanta Vibe on Saturday as a big swing by Vanderwaal catches the back line. So Top Conway back set first, and the second one goes out to Vanderweide. Great setup for the cross court attack, and Vanderweide just finished it wonderfully. Five times this season, serving to Vanderweide, and a great pass sets up the kill. Morgan Lewis, terrific. Yeah, the pass to get it all the way across. Cat Bell has been up to the task in this first set with five kills. And an, and an important answer from Lindsey Vanderweide. Into that swing. Puts it in a perfect spot in between both rows. That thing was straight down on her right foot. Set point for the thrill. And a chance to win it here. Gonzalez has to roll one through. Tom Com, Thomas Ilara saves one. When she gets some momentum, it is tough. Movement across the court and a great sharp angle. They didn't even have a double block lined up for her. Cross court and Morgan Lewis on target. The most reliable option offensively for the Mojo, going along with her season-long trend. She's hit it at a very efficient clip. And tonight, their new starters, Kat Bell and Lane Van Buskirk, have combined to hit over 40%, accounting for 10 kills and three blocks. Veronica Stone, somebody the Mojo will look to. They need to punch back in this second set. This match is like, the storyline's just gonna be all about stepping up, and, and we've seen Vegas step up in this match. She's hitting 56%. And that one, too strong for the block. A side out from Hannah Tapp. And butter through San Diego. Tom Com, not a lot of air time on that set. But they want to wheel their way back into this second set. Tap serving into traffic. Hit bang, dug up by Tom Com. Tap with the nice pass. That's out of system. It doesn't matter. Daily on this swing. Split the block perfectly. Does not stick the dismount, but that's okay. The lead down to five. Great reaction there by Tom Com off of Stone's cover. Gonzalez set back. Morgan Lewis returned to center come alive and you know having Morgan Lewis and Veronica Stone pair up like that timeouts left for the Mojo who had to use two of them real early here in our second set Papa continues to ignite in the matchup on Friday five points away or rather three points away or the thrill they lead by five Gonzalez a great get Bell, back on one. Tom Con the center dump, can't take advantage. Did she find another angle? Not quite. The Mojo survived that barrage. They get a little bit closer. Died on that sideline. 
Same spot at Cat Bell. Cat. Almost got the tool, instead it's helped up. Great recovery by Bastianelli. And a rare miscue from Glass Childress. The Mojo are up 4-2. Where uh, Yella Hashirova went over to Atlanta in exchange for Dalkey and uh, Bastianelli coming to San Diego. Another effective serve from Bastianelli. Couldn't take advantage though. At the right pin, could Lewis. Still a chance though. Pushed out wide, Papa connects. For the Atlanta Five, the all-time NCAA blocks leader for the Ducks a year ago. And a third round pick in the collegiate player draft for the Pro Volleyball Federation. Papa, in her 19th season of professional volleyball, the complete opposite end of the spectrum. It's at this level. And this is going to be huge if Valeria Papa can be playing like this consistently for San Diego. Already has an ace from the serving spot here in tonight's match. Going right at Kylie Murr aggressively. Stone sends that one back. Gonzalez. What a stop by Papa. Rescuing the point from the back row. 8-6. Well, the Mojo has been the better team. In set three, things are starting to finally click. Papa, a big part of it. What a diving dig there. One of the best defensive plays. The former Ohio State Buckeye and Oregon Duck. He's had a great match tonight. And a quick set out of the middle. That is Bastianelli. The more San Diego gets comfortable with these low angle sets from Topcom, the better they're going to be. For Lewis, that was kill number 15. She's hitting it at a 33% clip. Hippe, another great swing out of system. Tomcom the dig, and Papa with a strong swing. It's popped up by Hippe, and a transition chance. Tomcom, Valeria Papa starting to take over. So much depth when Valeria Papa is playing like this on Gabby Gonzalez and Saskia Hippe in set three so far. And that's the play for the Mojo. Valeria Papa with five kills already have begun their long uphill climb back into this match. For a rookie, according to middle blocker Hannah Tapp, she said everyone has a voice and there's really no hierarchy when it comes to the Mojo in the locker room. Hander wide, that's too hot to handle. 17-13. Dan Diego. I mean, it, it's, it was kind of like they were a little sleepwalking there in the first two sets, and now things are coming alive, and that cost a timeout for Vegas. 17-13, Mojo, as we step aside. And the one constant is going to be Tomcom with August Rasky's injury. She's going to be there the whole match. And she'll be doing that, setting Vander Wyda for a powerful strike. Goes to the service line, but I mean, Vander Wyda has come through. Looking to cut into this five point deficit. Short serve right to Lewis. Tom Kahn, high arcing set, and Glass Childress has to cover. Bell with a great up from Shara Venegas. Puerto Rican national team member rescued that point. To finish the point. Shout out to Venegas. That thing was incredible. Perfect set. And a lovely angle on that kill. Any player that's on a practice squad in the Pro Volleyball Federation can be claimed by other teams at any given time. Last Childress over to Bell. And a great get by Vanderweide. Free ball from Hippe after Glass Childress scrambled. Papa again. 11 kills all in the last two sets. Bellissima, Jake, bellissima. And the Vegas thrill called timeout. San Diego says ciao, Valeria. How can Coach Flory's team fight back? Set point, and a half dozen of them. And you saw Stone closing just a little bit late there. Work to do for the thrill on serve. This swing for the set. 
And Stone almost got it down. Free ball from Gonzalez. Back set, Stone. Kept alive by Glass Childress. Bell blocked. Ronica Stone wins set three for the San Diego Mojo. And they are not done yet. As he was in the season opener. It was funny, Ronica Stone was with Jordan after the match, and, and so many of the fans were asking for his autograph and his attention as Cat Bell gets blocked. There's Ronica Stone on cue. But she joked with her fans on social media, Dan. She said, to shine, and he's here for me. I mean, she's made some big time plays. She got the last point in the last set and is off to a great start in set number four, Ronica Stone. I know she's physical enough to finish points from almost anywhere on the court. The question was for Fran Flory, could she stay aggressive enough to hit her way through a slump? We'll find that out here in the fourth set. Stone kept alive, Glass Childress, but the second ball off target. Great defensive point, though, by both teams. Has been excellent. And they weren't going to this in sets one and two, and now here in three and four, Cat Bell on serve. Her ace made it 23-20 before the Mojo burned their final timeout. And that's what they wanted. Vanderweide from the left pin where she has been terminal. Vanderweide has had two straight attacks that have just been picture perfect. And she might be the go-to option right now uh, to bring San Diego back into this one. Papa saves another match point. Off the band -aid. just much. Goes cross court, aims right at the libero. Go fighting for their lives. Bell off the block. Childress with the pickup. Venegas lays out for the dig. Papa got the back line. And after fending off three match points, the Mojo can force a fifth set. And it's the hometown rookie, Lewis. Serving to Kylie Murr. Bell. Missed it long. The Mojo. Looks like there was some yeah, moisture complaint afterwards on the court. Yeah, Papa says that was a wet spot, which caused her to slip. Quick middle attack, Bastianelli. And so she's been dynamic since coming off the bench. There have been some ups, but lots of powerful swings in the process. That set from Tom Tom is just ridiculous. Incredible challenge by Fran Flory. Lucky to have it here in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Big block, Van Buskirk. That earns an easy ball. Still out of system, though, or the thrill. Chance for the Mojo in transition, and Papa with another beautiful swing. The misdirection here from Ronica Stone going one way. Excellent setup by San Diego. And again, that one-on-one -on -one map. Back to Prieto Sarame, the former Penn State Nittany Lion and Texas Longhorn. Swatted over by Oblad. Here's Lindsay. Got another. Off the face of Gabby Gonzalez, who pops up. She's okay. Headshot. And it's worth the lead here in set number five. And it's nice to see Gabby Gonzalez come up with a smile. One of the nights she'll remember in her eight year pro career if Vegas can win the match. Papa saves a match point. So now a total of four chances have come and gone. Chances to do it in that fourth set. San Diego survived and won it 29-27. But they've got to fight off three more. Bell. Dug up by Venega. Papa. Blocked at the net. Van Buskirk wins it for the thrill as they survive a five-set thriller in San Diego.